Hi everyone. So in this video, let's take a look at using um, the uh, using a fall off node to affect mass strength. So via a channel random node, so that we can have some say voxels form a model, and then that model will drop to the floor, and then uh, those voxels reconstitute the original model again. So let's drop in our dinosaur. It's massive, so I'm going to shrink it down, something like that. And then let's grab a cube, create a mesh network, switch it over to mesh distribution, drag in the Ceratopsia, and then switch the distribution method, uh, distribution, um, the uh, mesh method to voxel. Gives us some points. Uh, let's shrink this down a bit, so something like that. And then hide the original model. And then if we just, um, with the original cube here, if I, um, just assign a standard surface to it. And then um, add dynamics to the network. So we just go add dynamics like so. If I press play, this is what we get. Okay, so uh, for demo purposes, this is a little bit too slow. So I'm just going to shrink this down a little bit. So let's say 5, 0.05, 0.05. And then um, let's mess with a few of the dynamic settings. So let's add some friction and a bit of bounce. And then let's do the same on the, um, on the ground. Uh, let's increase the gravity. And then let's also increase the friction um, and the bounce. Well, that can stay the same. So let's just rewind and play that. Cool. Right, now, let's say we want to get our original points back. So what we do, um, how we'd normally do this is if I just uh, keep this playing, I can turn up position strength and rotation strength and uh, we'll get our original shape back. Um, roughly, uh, if a if a one block is in the way of another one, then they kind of can't get around each other. Um, and um, the only things you can do in that kind of a situation are uh, um, to increase the strength uh, of the position and rotation above 100. Um, this is a magnitude uh, of a force, so um, this, this isn't a percentage, this is a magnitude of a force. Um, and then you can increase the velocities as well to try and get them to go back to their original position more, um, more enthusiastically and hopefully they'll get there. So it's dynamics, so uh, physics you've only got so much control. But uh, let's say we want to get back there with a fall off object. So the fall off object will act on the point's original positions. So let's add channel random node. And then we want this to be set to position strength. Uh, and say we want a um, starting value of say, something really high, let's say 500. So if I play this back now, nothing's gonna move because everything is being affected by the channel random node. But if I add a fall off object, and then I press play, you can see that only the objects inside the fall off and the objects that have landed on them uh, are staying up there. So let's change the shape of this to a cube. And move it out the way. I'm going to um, just increase the inner zone. Um, we don't really need that softness in this situation. Whoops. There we go. Something like that. And then I will change this to be add. So, well, actually I'll show you. Um, I'll show you this not add, and then we'll put it in add. Um, so you can see the difference. So if I set a keyframe in the Z axis here, no. If I set a keyframe, let's just get rid of that. Uh, if I set it at say 120, and then at say 160, uh, we'll set it on either side. say there. Then when we hit play, we get this. And when the fall off object passes through the original positions, the points will kind of um, jump up and down. So the points are only affected by the fall off when they're inside the volume by default. So you need to change the mode from normal to add. And, and that means that the effect of the fall off will stay with them is added to the points. 
and it stays with them after the fall off is left. So if I just keep this playing, when the fall off passes through this time, the objects will keep moving up. So there we go. That's all very well and good. Uh, the rotations aren't being matched because we haven't added one of these for rotations, so we can do that. Uh, the other thing is, I think I'm going to increase the velocity on the maximum velocity on these things, so we can uh, um, hopefully get back to our points a bit more quickly. So let's create another uh, channel random. This one we'll set to rotation strength. What did I set the strength to the last time? Was it 500? And then uh, we're going to drag the same fall off object in. Now. We can use the same fall off object because both these channel randoms are on the same node. So that's the rule. If the channel randoms aren't on the same, aren't in the same mesh network, you can't share fall off objects. So you can only share fall off objects if the uh, fall off, if the channel randoms are on the same dynamics node. So just be aware of that. Okay, so let's play this and wait for everything to settle. And now, when the fall off object passes through, our rotation should be affected and our position should be affected. And there you go. So um, you can see there's a little bit of um, kind of jiggly dancing around there um, as uh, some of these points are trying to get to somewhere where they can't actually get to. So um, there's nothing really much you can do about that because the dynamics will, you know, the dynamics will stop things from passing through each other. So they're just kind of going to dance around there. So what you can do is just try and balance the uh, the strength values with the maximum velocity, um, or you can just give up. Um, and it might be uh, easier to do that in this case. So I'm just going to uh, knock the strength uh, values down slightly so that um, they'll not be as enthusiastic to get through. So they'll um, be less of that uh, dancing around. Uh, what was the other thing I was going to do? Um, oh, I was going to, on the fall off object here, I was going to add some fade. So if I do 0 0.05 on this, uh, so the add mode is going to gradually turn itself off. So the objects will fall down. If I view this from the, from the top this time. See, they're just falling back down again, so that's too high. So let's set that to one. Mm, let's set that to two. So it'll fall down. Fall off object passes through their original positions. And then they're going to fall back down to the ground again. There you go. So um, you're going to have to forgive the fall off position not updating during playback. It's um, my terrible graphics card on this iMac. Um, so that's what the uh, fade mode does on the uh, on the fall off object. So you can use and you can use this technique to animate any of these channels, the um, uh, velocities, all the mass, and all that kind of thing. Uh, so um, there you go. Hope you found that a little bit useful.